This mechanical keyboard can be used in a fight for self-defense or offense as Sensei Lawrence would preach and it is also what the sound design team used to create all Iron Man suit sound effects in the movies. I absolutely love it but it seems I'm not the only one. Before we get all technical, let me tell you what makes this keyboard special. For starters, it is one of the best value keyboards in the world of mechanical choices. I'll get to pricing in a bit, but build quality and most of all typing experience is on par with the more expensive selections out there. Throwing in the fact that this is a 75% layout, which is ideal, we get to the special secret sauce, which is the culmination and combination of all these ingredients into one product, resulting in an affordable typing symphony. This Keychron Q1 QMK custom mechanical keyboard knob product costs less than most entry-level custom solutions out there, coming with pre-mapped Mac function keys, double gasket design and looped switches. In a world where a custom keyboard might set you off anywhere between 200 and 600 bucks, this fully assembled version for 179 is starting to look like a terrific bargain. No wonder people love it. As I said, it's a 75% layout, which for people like me who don't like to push the mouse too much to the side and know little about mechanical keyboards is precisely what's needed. In fact, that goes smaller to a 65% layout, but in my language, the sound ch, which is often used when typing, sits where the wave dash key is, which means that a 65%er will not allow me to quickly type that particular letter, the wave dash symbol and escape easily. Anyway, the 75%er makes me very happy because I adore the arrow keys with their slight separation for easy access, plus I get to enjoy the Mac function buttons like mission control, launchpad brightness and media controls. Before I tell you why people drool over this keyboard, however, I want to point out my absolute favorite addition to this particular model, which is a tactile rotary encoder control knob. You can of course purchase a Q1 without that knob and add an additional button or perhaps a custom logo, but this knob is how it should be sold in the first place, in my opinion. This knob not only makes this keyboard even more versatile, but the implementation and build quality are just as great as everything else in this package. When plugged into the Mac out of the box, it can be used to control the volume and even remap to serve other purposes. It is not cheap plastic, it is tactile and it is also a button. When I mentioned that this keyboard can be used for self-defense, I meant that because it is made from aluminum, which is CNC polished, anodized and sandblasted, creating a very premium, heavy and potentially dangerous product. It weighs three and a half pounds or almost 1.6 kilograms. And if you have a mic, you can record yourself knocking on it and create your own Iron Man sounds. What I'm trying to say here is that this thing is built like a tank and it won't go anywhere. That body combined with the double gasket design and pre-looped switches results in a sound and experience that usually costs a lot more and more often than not it is reserved for the PC world and not Mac. Now I'd like to go back to the custom keyboard pricing comparison from earlier. 179 is not a low price, but if we look at some simple Mac alternatives out there and ignore that this is a mechanical keyboard altogether, it turns out that this price is indeed very competitive, especially for what you're getting. The keyboard is RGB illuminated and cable operated only. No battery version is available and I don't mind that because I tend to keep my mechanical keyboards connected anyway to avoid having to charge them every two weeks. More often than not, I keep the lights off with this keyboard because everything seems ever so cleaner. Here are the light combos that you should care about. There are three things that I don't like about this keyboard. Even though the body is at an angle, I'd still prefer to have the 
option to raise it up even more. That, however, is not possible because there are no kickstand legs. Now, I can be reasonable and understand that this is made from a solid aluminum block and weighs like two tons, but they could have included a second brick of aluminum to prop it from the back manually. <laughs> Just kidding. Second, there is no available software for this keyboard. If you want to make any adjustments, you have to use a configurator like VIA, which is a tad hackier than most average consumers would dare to use. Third, Keychron stopped shipping the keyboards with aviator coiled cables and comes with a standard, still very high quality, uh, braided one, but not an aviator nor coiled one. I know that such cables are all about looks, but I've never had one and I had high hopes to get one in the package, but no. So I took matters into my own hands. Much better. So I went for the space gray version of the Q1 because I'm not too fond of the navy blue and the carbon black version doesn't stand out as much. I made some slight monochromatic adjustments to the color theme and replaced some keycaps with gray versions from other Keychron keyboards that I have lying around and I love how everything turned out. Now talking about other Keychrons, my very first mechanical keyboard is from Keychron actually and I've been using it for a long time and it still holds and looks excellent given the fact that it was highly affordable. And that means that this Q1 should last a long time too. Now since demand for this keyboard is high, when available you can order it fully assembled or bare bone which comes at an even more affordable price. As you can see the fully assembled kit comes with all the bells and whistles including a screwdriver and a hex key for when you decide to mod it. The only thing I did was to take Dave to D's advice from his video and add this additional layer of foam below the PCB in the bottom case which gets rid of the ever so slightly pinging leftover noises on some of the keys resulting in a beautiful overall sound. If you enjoyed this content check out this video of another favorite mechanical keyboard of mine and if you're still here subscribe because why not? As always it's been an absolute pleasure this is Z over and out.